What's up, y'all? I'm Drea, and today I'm making a pozole verde. Instead of pork, it's gonna be chicken. And it's gonna be so good, it's gonna warm your soul. Let me show you how I'm doing it. All right, y'all. So what I did is I roasted my um, Ortega chilies, garlic. Um, if you like it more spicy, add jalapenos. Um, but the recipe is down below. Anyways, I did a quick roast, which is put it in the oven and the broiler uh, for about 10 to 15 minutes, flip it, and you'll get a nice roasted color. It brings out the flavors, really breaks down, and brings out the uh, sugars in the food. And don't let sugar sh scare you, that word, okay? <laughs> you'll be all right. Anyway, so I'm gonna blend it. And this is gonna be the base for this uh, pozole. So just go ahead and you don't need to even skin them. Just put everything, and this is a Vitamix, so it's gonna break it down. I have my tomatillos in there. It's the juices from the chiles, the onion, the garlic, and you want that as well, it's full of flavor. Pour that in there. Don't throw it out. It's good stuff. That's that good, good right there. All right, cool. And then I'm gonna put the cilantro. This is coleander and uh, oregano, fresh oregano. And then I'm gonna add the broth and then blend it up and then we'll go to the next step. All right, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add my chile verde to my pot. While that's coming to um, a boil, I'm gonna cut up my chicken. And I just do nice chunks. Again, I want them nice and small, not too big, just so that um, the cooking time is quick. This is a, a fairly quick, extra, uh, it's a quick exercise <laughs> in the kitchen. Um, but very quick to cook, so. It's really the time of roasting, you know, so you can kind of have a game plan already laid out so that um, you already know this is what you're gonna be cooking. Have the chiles and um, tomatillos in, in the oven roasting. And then um, when it comes time for assembly, you just bust a quick shot. So, chop that up. And we're gonna add that to um, our broth and the chile verde. Step is really simple. Now I like a lot of protein in mine, so mine's gonna have extra chicken. it around the same size so that it can cook evenly. This is set. So I'm going to start adding that to my, my broth. I'll season it afterwards. So now I'm going to add the hominy 
And this is just some, um, you could either make it from scratch or you can get it from a can. Rinse it. And then it's up to you. If you're a grain free person, then you don't need to add the hominy. Then it's more like a chile verde. But um, this makes it the pozole, is this hominy. So stir that. And then let that sit and simmer. And then once the chicken is cooked, then it's time to serve. I'm gonna show you exactly how I want you to uh, serve this dish. It's, it's very uh, important, you know. And again, you can make it your own, but this is just makes it pozole, you know? All right. Now that's ready. little bit more so now I'm gonna add cabbage and I thinly slice this you don't want it huge and thick very thin cilantro and I like cilantro so I'm gonna add a little extra of that then you're gonna, these are very minced onions, so cut very small. Okay, then I'm gonna add the radish, which is delicious. And then the lime. All right, y'all, here's that chicken pozole verde. Hey, you can get fit, stay fit, love life, eating tasty food, it's a real thing. Subscribe.